Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going through my top 10 Funko Pops that don't look like Pops. So, let's get started. Alright, so before we get into this, I just want to mention that these are some weird figures, and I, because it's the top 10, I kind of found my 10 that I think look like Pops the least. It's not so much that they're in order here, because I really don't know what order to put these in, because they... There's really not an order to this, but I do have my 10, like I mentioned, that don't look like Pops at all. And these are probably the best ones in my collection, so they are the top 10, I just don't know what order they would go in. I also, guys, want to show off, before I show off the figures that I've got here for the weird kind of random figures that Funko has made over the years that don't really look like Pops, I want to show off one that looks like a Pop. That would be this J Balvin right here. So. As you guys can see, he's got a big head, black eyes, they kind of like, you know, not dead eyes, but they're kind of like simple, is what I'm trying to say here. And, uh, you know, smaller body, but the bigger head. So there it is right there, guys. There's the J Balvin. That's kind of what we're basing off of, like a normal figure, you know? He's really just a person, but he's got the big head, big eyes, um, kind of a chibi, kind of Japanese style look to it. A lot of these are still stylized they're just not the normal funko mold if what if that's what i'm trying to go off here like the funko mold is pretty much like like i mentioned with the big head black eyes and kind of that's that kind of smaller body as well but there are here's one thing i ha actually let's just start with number 10. i was trying to justify this one right here because it is the good luck troll now you guys might be thinking it has the big head and black eyes as well but the difference with this one is here is that this is what good luck trolls look like this is pretty much it and this was actually the inspiration for the video and this is why it's kind of at my number 10 spot um this one right here is funny because throughout that video i did a uh, troll dwell funko pop hunting video where we went and looked for these guys the thing was people were commenting um these don't look anything like pops so i was like you know what that's a good idea for a video so i brought up another 10 more that's like i mentioned here but anyways guys there it is right there it still has those eyes but the whole thing kind of looks like a pop and the thing that's different about it too is it has the real hair so the hair being different like this kind of adds a different element to it that's not a popish kind of style and it also has that kind of ball joint head where the head tilts left and right as well as does a 360. So there's a bunch of different things that are going on with this figure that doesn't make it look like a pop. And uh, yeah, that's why I put this one on here, just because even though it has the black eyes and big head, that's what a troll looks like anyway. Next up, guys, we have one from Crash Bandicoot. Now, you, if you guys know the Crash Bandicoot line well enough, you might know this figure, but it's the Aku Aku. Now, the reason I put this one on here is because maybe from the front, he looks kind of like a normal figure, but he's really super flat. And it's kind of just like a board of wood or almost like a tiki kind of thing with feathers on the top. But yeah, this here has no features that kind of relate to a Funko Pop. It's more so just that it has bigger eyes, but that's kind of what Aku Aku looks like anyways. And it's floating as well. There's no body to it. It's pretty much just like if you were to put a mask mask on, that's what Aku Aku is. So it's really cool that Funko made this one and that they made it look so much like it does from the game, but it's really funny that it doesn't look anything like a figure at all, really. I mean, the eyes are bigger, I'm guessing, in a way, so that's kind of like the popish style, but other than that, there's not much going on with this one. You guys can see there that there is, uh, yeah, not many pop features in this one, that's for sure, especially with how thin this figure is. But anyways, that's why I put Aku Aku on this list, just because of how weird it is. And um, yeah, it does not look like a pop at all. Next up, I have a two pack here, and this one is a bit different. So you guys can see the, I'm not showing the front yet, but you guys can see the back here, and it is Moana with Kakamora. Now, the reason I put this one on here is not because of Moana, because Moana looks a lot like a pop. Like if you guys saw this one here, you guys would say that's a Funko Pop, but for Kakamora, not so much. You guys can see here that it's a small coconut and the eyes might be slightly bigger than normal um, for it to be a pop, but a coconut is round. So when they make the head bigger on a pop, it's really hard to make a coconut look bigger. They just make all the features look bigger on it as well. So Kakamura being a Funko Pop, I think this is the only way they could have sold this one, like a two pack like this. They could have even done like a pop and buddy, uh, but I don't know how that would have looked so small. But yeah, Kakamura, be I would actually, here's the thing. I wouldn't have put it on the list if it was a pop and buddy, because they do that a lot with the little ones where they did Dustin with Dart. That one, they kind of made dart look more like an actual figure because it's not technically a pop figure it's like the thing it's like a, it's almost like a um an accessory that comes with it in a way so this one here this is a two-pack these are two separate figures that's why i put this one on this list because of how different it is and it's got the you know kind of like um puffer fish um you know like hat on and all this weird small stuff and vines and like different parts to it but yeah this one just doesn't look like a pop in my opinion um but yeah that's why i put it on here because it's just so random but it is a really cool figure as well 
trying to pick which one goes next here, guys. You know what, let's go with this one here. So this is Gunter from Adventure Time. Now, this one here is another one of those ones that Gunter kind of just looks like a pop in a way. I mean, not really, but kind of. But also Funko kind of added extra features to the popish style to make it look more like Gunter because normally, like I said, pops have big heads, small bodies, and then those kind of black eyes. But with Gunter here, he's got kind of those features anyways. Gunter's just kind of a big penguin that's kind of, it's really, he's just a brick. If you guys have ever seen Adventure Time, that's pretty much what he is, a brick. Um, it's actually the same with Bimo, but I didn't put Bimo on the list because of the kind of blackish eyes, and Bimo's a little bit thicker than normal, I would say, and it's got the kind of weirder arms. Um, but with Gunter here, he, they even added the little white dots inside the eye there, so it adds that kind of Gunter look to it, because Gunter has those little white dots in its eyes, and that's pretty much what he looks like with the um, black eyes and then the little white dots. So if they didn't have the white dots in there, I would say they're kind of popifying it, but really if you add those little white dots, this is pretty much just a figure of Gunter from Adventure Time. That's what I'm trying to say here. Um, so anyways, yeah, really cool one. I love this pop and I think it's so cool that they made him look less like a figure, like a pop figure and more like the actual show. It really does add a lot to this character. Even if it's just so small details, it really does add a lot to this figure. All right, so next up on my list here, we have Ratfink. Now, the reason I'm putting Ratfink on this list is because of the eyes. And I think that's, now that I think about it, mostly the reason why Funko Pops don't look like Pops is because of their eyes. But also, this one, he's kind of one piece anyways, kind of like Gunter, where they're just kind of one big body as it is. With the icon here of Ratfink, um, the eyes are really odd. So they're kind of sticking out of his head there, um, you guys can see. And that's what Ratfink looks like. I mean, in the normal figure or the normal art, you guys can see there he has little pupils. But those eyes are just so weird and they gave him all the kind of like bumps and hair and kind of fluffiness and all this to him Which is he's kind of creepy, um, but he does look really nice as a pop figure and almost like the actual um, Rat Fink. I have seen Rat Fink statues before and they look very similar to this. This one's just shrunk down into a pop size really um, Yeah, so if it had those little dots in the middle of his eyes like the black and then the white again And then maybe the veins like they have on there as well. It would be even better um, But yeah with those eyes kind of popping out there. It really doesn't look like a pop now after Ratfink, we have this one here. This is the one from the Little Shop of Horrors. This is Audrey 2. Now I bought this one at the Funko HQ while I was there. It was the Chase version. I thought I'd mention it because that is pretty cool that it came all the way from Everett, Washington. But the reason I have this one on here is because actually my school did the play Little Shop of Horrors and they actually had this there. So I've seen this thing kind of in person or you know like their rendition of it, but it was very similar to the real um, play. So here it is right here guys. This is the Audrey 2. Now the thing is you guys might be thinking well the top of this is pretty big but in the play they need to have it big enough so that way a person can fit through it so Audrey can actually eat a person in that so it makes sense why they made this bigger so Pops kind of you know making the head look bigger is really just what the size of Audrey 2 is with it being popified to be that big um, it's pretty much pretty much the size of Audrey 2's actual head in the play is what I'm trying to say here This is also from the movie as well So it might be a little bit different in the movie like it might be a little bit smaller But I would say it's probably still very similar to what the play is because you know They have to make it bigger for the play um, for the movie You probably can do some special effects with it and make people you know kind of like whatever being indulged I don't know you guys know what I'm saying though. All right guys, so there's Audrey 2 I don't think that this thing looks like a pop also because it has no eyes and I think if Audrey 2 had eyes like those weird kind of eyes I think it would look more like a pop but because of that it really does make it look just like a figure of Audrey 2. Next up we have a bit of a weird one now this one's from which movie is this this is from Forbidden Planet and this is Robbie the Robot now this is the Gemini Collectibles exclusive I got this in a mystery box I think a Fugitive Toys mystery box if I'm not mistaken but you guys can see here it is the blue version of the Forbidden Planet Robbie the Robot now this one right here is kind of odd because it has those eyes but they're much smaller and they fit them inside the head so this one was more like you know let's just make a figure of Robbie the Robot instead of like let's make a popified version of it because if you guys see Robbie the Robot on the back here you guys can see the art of Robbie the Robot it's pretty much the exact same as the pop figure there's not much else there's not much different on it um, there's not much else going on besides the figure there the reason why it's blue I'm not exactly sure could if you guys know could you put it in the comment section below because I got this one from um, like I said the um, fugitive toys mystery box but even like looking it up and stuff like that I couldn't tell maybe this was just Funko doing one of those different colorways for it because they've done a blue one and then there was also a chase version of this that's pink as well so or pink or purple it's kind of a pinkish purple kind of color but yeah this thing looks nothing like a pop if you were to have this sitting on your desk you would think hey that's a cool Robbie the robot figure not a hey that's a cool Funko pop if you guys know what I mean so anyways guys this is kind of our seventh one here sixth one we have three more to go after this one so let's keep going. 
Okay, let's go with this one next. This one's kind of a funny one. So this is the Medium Invader from Space Invaders. I haven't taken this one out in a while. I had them all hidden in the back there. But this one right here is the Medium Invader, like I mentioned. And this one, it, because it's the Pop 8-bit line, they really just took it and was like, you know what, let's turn this into a Space Invader figure, not a Pop. So you guys can see there, it's pretty much because the 8-bit line um, has the bigger black eyes, but so does the Space Invader. That's what a Space Invader looks like. Um, they really didn't do anything different with this. They just kind of made it more 3D. And you guys can even see in the side the box there it's kind of popping out a bit they do have levels to it where some parts are bigger than others where in the game it doesn't um, because it is a 2d kind of 8-bit game it's a little bit different but yeah I do think this figure looks really great I actually have all of them there are eight different ones I think there are and they're all different colors of this medium invader I hope they make more because there is a I think a well, there's the spaceship, of course, that's at the bottom, and I don't know if they're called, like, Small Invader and Large Invader, but I'm guessing because this one is called Medium Invader that they are called that. I'm not 100% sure, but Funko, if you're watching, I would totally love to pick up the other ones of this, and maybe you could even make a whole game out of it, because right now we only have the Medium Invader. It'd be cool to have some other ones as well. But yeah, guys, this thing looks nothing like a pop, because this pretty much just is the Space Invader Medium Invader. Okay, I've got two more here. Let's go on to... Okay, these two are very different. I kind of want, I don't know which one to pick here. Let's go with this. Okay, so this one here, no, let's save that one. This one here is Domo. This is Domo Man of Steel. Now, I have a couple of these ones. I have Domo Dark Knight, Domo Green Lantern, and now Domo Man of Steel. This one was the uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2013, 1008 pieces, Domo Man of Steel. Now, the thing with this one is, is that it's very weird, and um, yeah, it's pretty much just like, most of these have been like this, and I want to mention this because I, for pretty much every figure, I've been saying that they all just kind of look like a figure of the character. Where Pops, what I'm trying to say here is that Pops are stylized figures when these ones are just figures of pretty much themselves. And I think I've kind of been spl explaining that all right, um, but I do want to mention it again just because that's kind of what I'm going for here. So the Domo Man of Steel is just a Domo figure in a way. I mean, he looks a little different, and because it is a DC and Domo collab, it is a bit different than a normal one. They never did make a normal Domo. I know they made ones like this that were pretty much just the exact same of what they looked like in the pop turned into a mystery mini as well. That's another thing too. The mystery minis and the pops were very similar. Just the pops had a little bit more detail where like the eyes were popping out or, you know, there's some metallic paint on it or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's why I put this one on this list because it really is just a Domo figure that looks like Superman. And last but not least on this one, we have what, oh, you can see it on the screen. Anyways, it's the TARDIS. Now this is the TARDIS Memorial one. And um, I mean, it doesn't really change anything that it is the TARDIS Memorial. It's just, I picked this one because I don't have the normal TARDIS. There's been three different versions of the TARDIS. There's this one, there's the kind of fading one that's uh, kind of, you know, like translucent at the bottom. And then there's the normal one as well. But this one here, I want to take it out of the box because yes, there's a bit of a difference with this one compared to the other ones. Um, it's the flowers on the front there but you guys can see my hand is actually inside of this figure it's because there's no bottom on it and if you guys are careful you can pop the door on this Ooh, did I break it oh no it just makes a loud noise every time but yeah you can pop the door on this and it actually opens up so you can have characters coming in and out of here if you'd want to um, and I think that's really cool that Funko added this but there is the figure right there I think it's really weird that they made this into a pop they could have made it like a different figure but I think here's what happens I think sometimes because they are called pops they sell better I don't know if that's true or not but um, if you were to call the Domo and if they were to make their own Domo DC line and just have different figures like that I don't think it would sell as well as if you called it a pop and I, I'm, I'm completely fine with them putting it in the pop category some of these don't at all look like pops but they get thrown into this list I know there are some that they do that don't have pops on it like there was the rose from beauty and the beast that i never picked up just because it was nothing like a pop it was a dome and then it was a rose but in, on the side they put a pop logo so i wonder if that's what they're trying to do um to make more sales i'm not exactly sure and i'm not complaining at all um i will still pick up all of this stuff i love it i wouldn't have got it just because it had a pop logo up there i pick it up because i love these figures so anyways guys that's gonna do it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i wanted to do the one of these again because i did one a long time ago and we had some figures in there that were really odd and a lot of you guys liked it. I think it was one of our most popular videos for the longest time. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other ones that you wanna put on this list, let me know in the comment section below. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.